Hello, and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today, I'm sharing a quick and easy glittery snowflake card that I made using Nouveau Glimmer Paste and some supplies from Pink and Main's Warm Wishes Crafty Courtyard Kit. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that subscribe button below. If you are, thank you for visiting my channel again. I hope you enjoy this video. Now, I shared a video back in January where I made 16 cards from this same Crafty Courtyard Kit using just six sheets of the pattern paper. I introduced my six sheet card challenge where I offer a free PDF template that you can download, which includes cutting templates and card sketches. So if you have some pattern paper that you need to use up, you can make your own cards using this template and you can enter to win some awesome card making supplies. This is a quarterly challenge, so you have a little longer than most challenges to get your cards made and post it on social media using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 1. Now for more information, click on the link in the description box below. I'm working on the new challenge now for the next quarter coming April 1st, 2021, and it's going to be awesome. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss it. Now let's jump into today's card. Now to start out, I'm using a sheet of Simon Hurley's Stark White cardstock that I've cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I've placed my snowflake stencil on top and attached it down to my glass mat using some mint tape. This is a low tack adhesive, but I made sure to not to put it on the cardstock. Here I've spread out some of the Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Amethyst Purple using my palette knife, and I've let this dry. Now using the two dies that came in the kit, I've cut out two white snowflakes using that same Simon Hurley cardstock, and I'll be placing this on the top of the card. Now because the background is so busy, I thought it needed to have something between the snowflakes and the background. So I'm using a piece of this Nina vellum that I bought from Ollie's bargain discount store. I got the whole pack for 79 cents. Now I haven't been able to find this anywhere else, but you could use any type of vellum here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to be layering these up and now I'm going to stamp on this sheet or this little strip of scrap paper the happy winter sentiment from the stamp set that comes in the kit. Now I'm using my Misty stamping platform and the reason I like to use this is because if I need to do an extra coat it'll help me to line up my stamp exactly where I stamped it before. And to stamp these out, I'm using some Simon Hurley's Crown Me. It's a purple dye ink. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out two of these just so that I'll have an extra. Now I'm gonna punch this sentiment out using the Stampin' Up! Classic Label Punch. Now the letters barely fit in there, but it did give it that banner effect that I was looking for. Now for my card base, I'm taking another piece of Simon Hurley Stark White cardstock that I've cut in half vertically so that I can have a top folding note card. And here I'm trimming down the background to be four by five and a quarter so that I can have a little bit of an edge showing. And here I'm scoring my card base down at five and a half and lining it up in the corner of my scoreboard so that my edges meet up exactly. And sorry, my head got in the way there. Now I'm taking a piece of foam so that I can give it a little bit of dimension. And my this cutter doesn't cut all the way through, but I did want to have a line on it so that I could um, easily cut it out with my scissors. Now I'm attaching my foam to the background using some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Now even though you see me adding glue here, I almost forgot to add the glitter tape around the edges of my card base. So right before I attached it, I caught myself. 
So this um, purple glitter tape that I have here matches perfectly. It matches that Nouveau Glimmer paste exactly. And this came as a free gift in the January kit that I received from Pink and Main. And so here you just see me trimming down some pieces and adding that to the outside edge of the card base. And of course I had to add more glue because that glue was dry. There were a couple of spots where my tape wasn't exactly lined up where it should be so I had to trim that off with my scissors. Now I'm using some art glitter glue with the fine tip so that I could apply some adhesive to the back of the snowflakes and attach it to the vellum. Now to attach this piece to my card, I'm using some scrapbook.com foam adhesive circles and I'm just gonna apply that directly behind the snowflake so that you can't see it through the vellum. Now I've attached my sentiment directly to the center and to finish off this card, I'm adding some purple rhinestones. And here is my finished card. I think it turned out really pretty. It's very simple and easy to make. And it really, the pictures don't do it any justice. You really have to see it in person to see all the shine. But please let me know what you think in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget you can also find my work on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. And you can also check out my website at CardsbyKendra.com. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.